Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at how you can manually program the flight in a Boeing 787, which in this case has the Bravo 78 X-ray hotel uh, modification. You can see another beautiful aircraft there taking off. Uh, we're located at, at Schiphol Airport. Uh, as you can see, there's the tower, uh, there's some parking spots, uh, some hotels, some offices some construction work taking place there and some buses so let's go uh, inside uh, the aircraft All right so first gonna make sure that the uh, flight assistant is uh, switched off because else it will start uh, talking which we don't want to and another cool thing i want to show you is the pushback uh, tool the pushback tool has now several uh, things being added to the uh, i would say to the mod which is options to prevent that you're driving away if you're connected to the uh, stairs, catering truck, baggage loader, or uh, connected to the food truck, right? So you need to manually dismiss them. And there's now audio involved, right? So if I would call for uh, the pushback truck, then it's, uh, I would say, literally playing audio. It's cool. Just, uh, I would say, kind of a side note. So let's uh, make sure that we're starting the aircraft. Uh, in this case, we're going to switch on the battery. Uh, we've got external power, uh, which we can switch on. Going to switch on the APUs. That will take some time, but in this aircraft, it's amazing because you can already start them uh, as we speak. So that's good enough for now, I think. Yes because all the systems are working as you can see and here's the uh i would say the flight computer right um so we're first going to make sure that the uh, position is uh, correctly set uh and then you can go to the next pa pages to look at other things like the the irs uh, tree but you can see that those buttons are not yet working in this mod uh same for the IRSs, right? So you make need to make sure that the IRSs are working, which are used for navigation purposes. So we're gonna go to DEP and ARR, which stands for departure and arrival. As you can see, nothing is in here yet. So that's the first thing we need to do. And you can do that by going to the RTE button and that has an origin and destination. So we can specify origin and that's in our case is Amsterdam airport. And then you can specify the destination. In this case, um, I've added uh, John F. Kennedy Airport. And then you can modify the, uh, the flight number if you want. Uh, 23456. Uh, runway, you can define it. Um, I think 6, on, for example. You can simply add it here. Then it adds runway 6. Uh, there's, of course, still the option to go to request a route via... Um, sim brief or via another uh, flight planning tool which i'm not aware of uh but yeah we're not gonna do that we're gonna do it the hardcore style uh so we're gonna say activate and then press the execute button so it's being processed by the computer and then we can go to the lags and the lags in this case contain runway 06 and then jfk but hey where's the rest of the flight plan because we're planning to fly i would say via the official ifr right the instrumental flight uh, regulations so what i did is i used uh, online flight planner.org which is just one of the flight planners to program the flight i won't show it on the screen uh, believe me i did it and i've got it in front of me so how can we add additional waypoints or intersections here well that's kind of easy you're gonna use the keyboard uh, over here and then you can specify the uh, waypoint in this case andy is probably is found twice i know that this is this one so we're gonna select it and then you can see that the exact button illuminates directly but we're not gonna do that yet because we're not ready so we're gonna continue with the next one which is uh whoa. kilo echo kilo india x-ray and then we're gonna add it again so you simply need to select the latest entry and above that it will add the waypoint so let's say that for example i make an error on purpose i will add uh, badoom and then I figure out, hey, I need to add uh, Grony. 
so I'll add Grony, and then I can simply press Bedoom, and then it will automatically add it on top of it, right? So that, that's cool, right? So and you can continue this, uh, I would say, continuously until you edit all the um, waypoints and intersections in your flight plan. Uh, so we can go to the uh, other things, right? We can request wind data, although that doesn't work. But here's the, I would say, expect arrival times at those waypoints. It's all in Zulu time, makes sense. Uh, there's no wind, there's also no view uh, yet being predicted here because we didn't specify those values yet. Um, some other things which you might be wanting to know is the departure and the arrival right so let's assume that we're taking off from one way 06 right we can still change it here so we can simply press the runways and then specify another one for example 18 charlie and then based on that you can select uh the standard instrumental departure which are available for in this case runway 18 and you can see it's a pretty long list uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select uh, B2, let me have a look, this makes sense, no, well, let's add Lara in this case, transaction or transition, Woody, and then we're gonna press uh, route, execute, and then when we go back to the lags, it has added additional waypoints, which we're gonna, I would say, visit before flying to Andik, which was our original uh, waypoint, which we added to a flight plan. The same thing can be done for the for the arrival route. So you can click on arrival, then you can select the runway. Let's assume that we're landing on ILS 22 uh, Lima. Then you've got the standard terminal approach route. In this case, we select one of them. IGN, uh, we can select the, select the transition. In this case, a Kimball, and then add uh, route and then say execute again and then when we go to the legs you will see that multiple additional things have been added the cool thing is that after this it says route discontinuity and then it starts with the uh standard terminal approach route right which will finally make sure that you're uh, landing on the uh um what's it, on the runway so let me double check if i told it correctly to you Andik, yeah, Baydoom, and then we've got the IGN, which was part of the term standard terminal approach route. So this is how you can, I would say, add both, um, I would say, approaches and arrival, or three approach or arrival routes, yeah, and departure routes uh, to your flight plan, right? So it's, uh, it's not compared to what you're probably used to for other... Um, I would say other aircrafts like the um, G1000 from Garmin that on that computer or maybe you use to the A321X uh, board computer they are a little bit more advanced compared to this one right there's still some work being done and I must say I'm really impressed already by what the uh, people have created um, so that's it uh, other options well it looks like that in soon you will get the option to print the uh, route so the next thing you need to do is i would say make sure that uh, everything is ready for takeoff and ask for permission to take off and that's the other nasty thing which i want to explain because i i had some i would say questions about it and that's the tune skip or clearance in this case normally you would request clearance to take off right so if you would press the option then you will get all the ground options and the eight is the eight is simply for the airport information right I like the wind the runway which is in use uh, or if there are special things which you need to be aware of and then you would expect hey i'm pressing ground and then i can request i would say permission to take off but you can see here that there's no option to ask for ifr departure uh, i'm pretty sure that it was there in the past um, but I still need to find where it is because it looks like that it's for some reason it's let's say disappeared. It could have to be. It could have to do with I would say manually programming a flight is not supported yet, um, and that would be a bad thing, of course. Uh, but that's something I'm currently investigating. So I got some questions about it. I need to test some other things because I've got some IDs where 
how we can fix it but i'm not sure if i can fix it right might be a limitation of flight simulator 2020 uh as we speak so what do you need to do in that case in that case you might think hey let's open the vfr map but too bad the vfr map it will show you the flight or it will show the aircraft but it won't show the flight if you're manually programming it using uh, i would say this nice uh computer the cool thing of course is that you can use for example volanta or any other tool to track your flights which allows you to let's say have a separate screen which allows you to see okay hey, where am i currently coded located and what's my next uh, destination right what's my next vor etc um good thing is of course that the flight plan which is programmed here the autopilot etc simply works right it simply follows the flight plan so that's all kind of cool things however it would be nice if the vfr map would be updated and in addition to that that you can ask the atc for ifr departure from a specific airport to another airport uh, workaround in this case is to uh, look at the map look at from which runway you are taking off and then ask for uh departure straight out right so you can do that but the challenge is that in some cases you're not being assigned the runway which you selected in the flight plan see so work around for that of course is to simply go to the uh flight plan and then select the i would say correct runway in combination with the correct uh, SID click route click execute and then it will be updated as we speak right you can see it has here it has now been updated everyone is happy you can still use the autopilot uh, all the other systems in the aircraft will use the flight plan which you programmed here uh, so that's cool so here ends this how-to. In this how-to, we looked at how you can program a flight in a Boeing 787 using the B78 X-Ray Hotel mod. Uh, we also looked at the limitations it currently has, uh, but overall you can still use it to schedule your flight and then of course enjoy the flight when playing Flight Simulator 2020. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.